What is going on everybody? So I just wanted to start off this video by saying thank you so much for a thousand subscribers. And uh, yeah, I'm super excited about that. But I got to thinking and realized that there might be a lot of you that don't really know what it is that we're doing or why we even have a YouTube channel. I mean, I love showing off the animals and stuff, but it's not just for little clips of the animals. We're building the greenhouse and we got some really big, awesome plans with that. But uh, you might've just seen the aquarium and think that I just got a cool aquarium and not know the whole story. You might've seen some of these animals and just thought, hey, he has some cool animals, but there's a lot more to it. Pretty much my whole life, I've been obsessed with animals. Anybody that knows me in real life knows that pretty much since, as long as I can remember, I've been obsessed with animals and plants and everything like that. I've been keeping aquariums, reptiles, reef tanks, all kinds of amphibians and stuff since I was probably 12 or 13 and yeah it's just always been a thing in my life. I've had other hobbies come and go but this has never gone at all. It's always been an obsession of mine. So I've always loved learning about animals and how they are in the wild and I love building awesome vivariums like this and I just always had this idea that I wanted to create something like this with plants and animals where you can see how everything interacts but I wanted to build it on a large enough scale that you could walk into it and experience it firsthand. And that basically slowly turned into the greenhouse idea, but we will go over there and I'll give you a detailed plan on what we're doing there so you have a better understanding because I think it really is a lot cooler than most people are thinking. Like the end goal of the greenhouse is gonna blow people's mind. But in the meantime, we can sit here and let me show you some of the awesome animals I'm talking about real quick. First off, we have this red-eyed tree frog here. So this guy is going to be one of the inhabitants of the greenhouse. I gotta keep him from jumping all over. Gorgeous little animal. Or right here, we have this awesome Leechianus gecko we got here. These guys are my favorite gecko. They're the largest gecko. But this guy is not going to go in the greenhouse. He is gonna stay here at home with me. I don't want any lychees in there eating all the other geckos. <laughs> so then, one of the things I've been into mostly my whole life is snakes and pythons. I've always been really into different pythons, but there is not gonna be any pythons in the greenhouse because they would eat everything. But I'm always gonna have a home collection of pythons like this awesome girl right here. This Barneck Scrub Python is one of my absolute favorite snakes. She is a super slow grower and she can be a bit sassy, especially when you're getting her out of the cage. Once you got her out, she's pretty cool, but yeah, it takes a minute. Super awesome snake. Had her for about two years. But uh, also, you're lucky I can just cut clips too because it takes me like 20 minutes to get her out of the cage sometimes. It's an absolute nightmare, but uh, you guys don't have to wait for that. So let's put her back and see what else we got. Kitty, the reticulated python we have that is way too big for this room right here. <laughs> so she obviously is my favorite. I don't know if it's obvious, but it should be because she is the coolest snake ever. Once again, not going in the greenhouse. She would kill everything. But let's put her away so I can catch my breath and tell you about the greenhouse. <laughs> and then of course we have the aquarium, which I'm sure a lot of you have seen, but uh, just so everybody knows, we bought this aquarium because of the pond in the greenhouse. It's not the other way around. This is literally just a grow out tank currently for the fish that are going in the greenhouse. So these bass, the stingray, the catfish, the arowana, all that is going into the greenhouse and going to live there in the pond. And then eventually, once we're done growing fish out for the pond, we will do something else really cool with this aquarium. But I think it's time. Let's take you over to the greenhouse and I'll tell you all about the plan for that so you guys can get partway as excited as I am to get it done because I cannot wait. Okay, so while we're headed over to the greenhouse to show you guys what the plan is and what we're going to create there, I'd like to talk to you a little bit about why we're doing the greenhouse and why we're even doing the YouTube channel in general. So basically, like I said, it started with the idea to build a vivarium big enough that we could walk into. Like one day I thought about building a bedroom into one or something like that, and then it just kind of spiraled out of control little by little until the greenhouse plan came. We just decided if we're going to do it, let's just do it all the way and build something big enough that other people can also come enjoy it with us. So the 
purpose of the greenhouse is going to be a full jungle ecosystem. For those that don't know, it's not just the pond. It's not just going to be a pond and a couple birds. It's going to be the plants, the bacteria, the nematodes, the geckos, the frogs, everything. And we're going to basically find the balance of everything in there to where it is a, as close as you can get to having a full jungle ecosystem that everybody else can come enjoy. And then we want to do tours of that. So I want to let people come over and bring their kids and bring their families and enjoy it and learn about it and be able to experience it firsthand rather than going to the zoo and just seeing animals in cages. I think it, people would really enjoy being able to see them like in their natural environment with plants and stuff like that. So that is the plan. And uh, I think once it's pretty much done, we're going to start up a nonprofit and run it all through a nonprofit. So when things get to that point, I will talk about it more. But in the meantime, we are just trying to get the thing built. And just so you guys know, I'm doing this all out of my own pocket, everything like the animals and stuff, but the greenhouse, especially I'm about 30 grand into the greenhouse and I'm not rich by any means. I just do this with every extra dollar that I have pretty much. And my awesome girlfriend, Tiffany helps me out with everything, which is really cool. But uh, yeah, so if you want to help right now, all I really need is to help spread word about this channel. Because if this channel grows and I do end up being able to make money off it, it's not like I'm gonna profit and get rich off it. I'm just gonna have more money to be able to put into the stuff that I'm already doing. The YouTube, we really just started kind of on a whim just to like document what we were already doing with the greenhouse because we thought it was really cool. And since then I've realized that I really could grow this channel into something big that helps me do even bigger and cooler things in the future, which would be awesome. So that is the plan. Just pretty much get this going and then any money that I make off anything will just help me do more with the animals in the greenhouse. It's the bumpiest road ever. But uh, and if I don't make any money off it, that's totally fine because I'm doing it anyways. So we might as well document it and get some cool footage along the way. Sorry if it's shaky. We were driving down the bumpiest road ever. But yeah, I'm really just trying to make my dreams come true, do cool stuff with animals and be able to teach other people and show other people along the way, especially kids. I'd really like to build something cool that people can bring their kids that are into animals to, to see and learn about, or they could even come help me work on stuff sometimes or help me take care of the animals. Cause I know when I was a kid, I would have died to have something like that around me. I would have gone crazy. I was busy in the backyard catching grasshoppers, you know? If I had someone that had birds and geckos in a giant jungle that I could go see, I would have absolutely loved it. So we are almost there. Let's get over there and then I'll show you the plan on how we're gonna get that built to what I see in my head. So this is the greenhouse as it sits right now. For those that have been following for a while, you probably have a pretty good idea of what we've done to get to this point. But to all my new yeah. subscribers, I'm going to give you a real quick breakdown, real simplified. So basically dug a big 20 by 30 pit. We installed geothermal heating and cooling to make it more efficient. We built these block walls to get us up above ground level. We framed this all out and then we built the pond. We set up a natural gas heater to keep it warm during the winter time. We just finished running a water line because that's obviously important for the plants in the pond. And then yeah, that is pretty much where we are currently. So the plan for the greenhouse, I'm gonna try to paint you a little picture of a fraction of what's in my brain right now. I can't get you every detail in this video, it's impossible. So if you guys have specific questions, comment down below and I promise I'll respond to every single question. So right here, you're gonna walk in, and there's gonna be a boardwalk, okay? I'm doing a boardwalk because I don't want people stomping on all the plants and the dirt and destroying all the animals' homes and hurting animals, you know? So the boardwalk is gonna to be to basically keep people off the of stuff as much as possible, leave the animals and plants alone. The heater is about to kick on, so that might get loud, so sorry, but I can't control that. And uh, yeah, so you're gonna come down the boardwalk and then there's gonna be cool plants everywhere. So especially over here on this side, there's gonna be, this is probably gonna be where the big plants are, some big banana trees and ficus trees and stuff. And then you're probably thinking that the cinder block looks ugly and that's, you're right, it does look ugly. So we're gonna cover that up. Basically like how the background of the vivariums are, we're gonna make the whole greenhouse look like that. We're gonna cover up all the block, everything like that. So then up here, to make this look more natural, we're gonna build some cool like sphagnum moss poles that the plants can grow up on the sides to make it look a lot better. But yeah, so plants everywhere, cool stuff, animals. Boardwalk comes down here. It'll probably end somewhere about right here. And then this whole area will be a big wooden platform. We'll probably put a cool bench here so people can sit and watch the pond. People, to me, I can sit and watch the pond and feed the fish. Over here on this side, 
We're going to cover up the greenhouse or the front of the pond. This looks ugly, so we're going to cover this up with kind of a rock wall with dirt in between, make it look all natural. And that's going to have mosses and bromeliads and orchids and all kinds of cool plants going on it. So we'll have a little cutout for this window. For the rest of this, it'll just be a cool little rock wall. Right here, we are going to have a big waterfall filter with a stream that runs out that way. So it'll look kind of like a little rocky cave with a stream coming out. But uh, it won't actually be connected to the pond, it'll be a separate system. But yeah, that'll feed, what starts right here is going to be the peat bog. So it'll be a big peat moss bog area where the water is shallow and spreads out. And then there's going to be carnivorous plants, all kinds of cool stuff. And then the stream will run from that under the boardwalk, kind of tighten up and get more fast flowing. And then just kind of somewhere right in the middle at the end, and then pump back up to here. So it'll look like a little stream's going through. That'll give frogs a place to lay eggs. That'll give birds a place to bathe, drinking water for all the animals. So pond, rock wall, cool little stream coming out. And then the back wall is going to be really hard because that's the first thing you see when you walk in. You, know, you see the whole back wall. So we we're like, what's something really cool we could do to cover that up and make it look better? And we decided we we're going to try to do a living plant wall from the very bottom all the way to the top with big monsteras, anthuriums, all kinds of cool plants hanging off it, overhanging the pond. So you'll see the pond, you'll see the big plant wall, little stream, everything's going to look awesome. As far as animals for the pond, there's going to be a lot, I'm not going to list everything and I haven't even figured every single one out yet, but we are going to do frogs, geckos, small lizards like anoles, uh, probably some turtles, possibly some tortoises, but I don't know, they'll probably be destructive. And then some chameleons, small chameleons, and then probably some birds. Birds will probably just be finches. Probably no parrots or anything. I wish we could do parrots, but they would be way too destructive. But yeah, small stuff like that. Obviously, we're not going to put Kitty in here and let her eat all the birds. We're not going to put any animals that are going to wipe out the rest of them. There is going to be somewhat of a balance, and I'm sure some of the smaller animals will get picked off every now and then. But hopefully, we can keep breeding populations healthy enough to where we kind of find a balance of everything. But it all starts with the insects. So one thing for you insect people, if any of you know, Comment down below uh, ornamental insects you'd like to see in here because that's something I don't know too much about, so I could use some advice. But yeah, this is the greenhouse, guys. It is going to be really awesome. Like I said, it's hard to paint you a picture, especially in a 20-minute video or whatever this is. I can't tell you every little detail, so make sure you comment down below any questions that you have, and I would be happy to answer them. But I just can't get it all in one video. But yeah, this is it, so thank you for following. Make sure you are subscribed to the channel. Make sure you like the videos and help me out so I can keep doing cool stuff like this and so I can get it done faster because this has cost me a lot of money and I spent all my free time working on this. So yeah, let's get it done, get it really cool, and then maybe some of you guys can come out here and see it in person.